Hello, this is Jan Burnett with InkRubberArt.com. I'm going to show you today how to make this cute little gift bag with this flower on it. Um, the flower is from the Punch Fancy Flower. Um, then what I've done is I've taken some of the designer paper and I've, I've punched out three of them. If you'll notice, there's five petals on this. So what I'm going to do is take my paper snips and snip right up to the center. So you have this. And then I'm going to just fold that over on top of the other one. I'm going to use some of my um, Tombow glue because you want a strong glue and you'll just put a little bit right there and then fold it together like that. Here's one I already have done and you'll get a point um, on the bottom so you want to just press that in with your finger and thumb and that makes it flat so that when you add your stamp and dimension um, it will stick to your next layer. Um, what I've done here and with the, these I like to my bone folders ugly because I and then you'll just take a stamp and dimension between each one and then add this one on top and that gives that little pop-up. Back to the one that we did here, I added a button with some of our Baker's twine, added that on there, and then another neat little thing about this bag is that the flower is detachable, that way they can get into their bag, get their goodies out, still have their cute flower as part of their gift, so what I did was take a clothespin and um, covered it with some of the designer paper, add a little baker's twine, and you just snap that right on there. The cinnamon is from our chalk top, and we do have, and of course you could, that way you can stick that on up there where you can see it better, um, a small heart punch, which is a little bit smaller than the heart that's actually on the stamped image. So I stamped it and then stamped it again, punched this out, that way it has some dimension to it and adds a little more dimension to your gift bag. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you'll make plenty of these. And also I'd like to invite you to visit my blog at inkrubberart.com. By and by.